Well, there is a select group of centenarians, people over a hundred years old, living in the U.S. There were just over 53,000 when last counted by the U.S. Census in 2010. One of them celebrated her birthday in style last week in Northolme. Our Mel Meyer has the story. Now, if you know your history, what happened in April of that year? The Titanic sunk. She was born in 1912. Oh, that was the same year. Looking back on her life, it would seem that Patricia Marble's memories happened just yesterday. Oh, there's, there's so, so many memories. I think one of them was my uh, mother's brothers were getting ready to go to service in First World War. Fond memories of growing up in South Bend, Indiana, where she learned the skills she later needed to run her own resort in North Elm. Those logs had all be wiped down and the inside, the floors clean, the beds made, and that was the biggest job I've ever had, the hardest job I've ever had. Patricia Marbles is undoubtedly a jack of all trades and rather a master of most. It wasn't until much later in life that she found a love of stained glass making, even going on to win awards at the state fair. Out on the deck, they had me making little butterflies. All around the deck are, are the little butterflies. Her latest thrill is kayaking, which she first took up in her 90s. Despite her age, she'll challenge you to a race and win. She does it finds things that none of us ever knew that she could do, but she does. <laughs> <laughs> does those things. There's good time. Patricia credits her long life to her genes, with many of her relatives living late into their 90s. So it's genes, and I just happen to be the one that got them. I but am. for people looking to increase their longevity, she has a simple tip for you. I tell the kids that that's the thing in the world. When you get up to wash your face in the morning, look in the mirror and smile. Keep that on all day long. That's the key to living a long life? I, uh, it must be. I don't know of any other reason. Taking it easy cream, also uh, seems see, to help. <laughs> and all I have to do is grimace a little bit, and they're right there by me. <laughs> I've got it made. <laughs> In Northam, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.